Top 10 Richest Kings in Africa 2022 and Their Net Worth Africa is home to some of the world's oldest civilizations, including Egypt's famous kingdoms and Ethiopia's kingdom, which was allegedly ruled by the same family for nearly 3,000 years. Africa has an incredibly rich and complex history, with hundreds of important kings, queens, sultans, chiefs, and emperors over the millennia. The majority of modern African traditional leaders are bound by codified national laws and constitutions. The only absolute monarchy on the continent remains Eswatini. King Swati III has reigned over 1.3 million people as the absolute monarch of his landlocked country, which is located between South Africa and Mozambique and is slightly smaller than Wales since 1986. He is one of five African presidents to have served for more than 30 years. The truth is that being a royal in Africa comes with all the glitz and glam you'd expect from royalty, but there's also an established element of myth. The use of regal attire, adorned crowns, jewelry, personal armaments, and weapons was used to establish monarchical privileges in the form of sovereign rights and prerogatives. Here are the top 10 richest kings in Africa in 2022, as well as their net worth. Please subscribe and enable the notification icon if you are new to this channel. 10. Ojime Achiwats III, Olu of Wari, Nigeria. Net worth, $20 million. Is Majesty the King, the current occupant of the royal throne, Prince of Wari Ojime Achiwats, third of Wari, dates back to 1480 AD. He is the Itsekiri people's monarch in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria, and he reigns as such. On the 21st of August, 2021, he was crowned Olu. His position, titles, and patronage from politicians and wealthy citizens, among other things, are estimated to be worth at least $20 million. 9. Togbe of Day 14th of Asogli State, Ghana. Net worth $30 million. Togbe of Day 14th is the Asogli State Akbobonfia, president of the Asogli Traditional Area and former president of the National House of Chiefs. When Togbe of Day 14th of Asogli State, Ghana, was born on April 23, 1957, he was given the name James Akbo. He was formally crowned in October 2003. He attended the University of Ghana and has since established himself as a successful businessman. He is the executive chairman of the World Trade Center Accra, as well as several other companies, including Databank Financial Services, Sunon, Asogli Power Ghana Let, and Accra Hearts of Oak FC, in which he owns a majority stake. 8. Oba Rilwan Akiolu of Lagos, Nigeria. Net worth $40 million. Oba Rilwan Akiolu is the Oba of Lagos and the city's most powerful man. He was born on October 29, 1943, in Lagos, Nigeria, and was formally installed as the 21st Oba of Lagos in May 2003. He is descended from Lagos' ancient ruling family, which he represents. He has a law degree from the University of Lagos and previously served in the Nigerian police force for 32 years before ascending to his forefather's throne. He was in charge of investigations as an assistant inspector general of police. 7. Obi Nemika Alfred Hugo Chukwu Ashib of Anixia, Nigeria. Net worth $50 million. Obi Nemika the 21st Obi of Onitsha succeeds his father, Alfred Ugo Chukwu Achibe, as the head of state of Onitsha. He was crowned in 2002 after being born on May 14, 1941. He is the most prominent king in Nigeria's eastern region, as well as one of the country's most respected monarchs. He made his money in oil and gas. He has held several important positions in Shell Petroleum Development Company in Nigeria, several European countries, and other parts of the world. 
Alfred is a father of two children. He is currently the Chancellor of Amadou Bello University, as well as the Chairman of the Unanlever Nigeria Board of Directors. 6. Hoba Iwer II of Ojidigan Net worth $70 million Oba Iwer II of Ogidigan, also known as the Oba of the Great Benin Kingdom, is the ruler of the Great Benin Kingdom. Oba Iwer II is the king of a kingdom that once spanned Nigeria's entire coastline and included all of the coastal cities. After his father, Oba Eridiowa, died in 2016, he was elevated to the position of Oba of Benin. His Majesty, Oba Iwer II, is the 40th Oba of the Kingdom of Great Benin, reigning on a throne that has been in the family since around 1180. He lives in an opulent mansion in Benin City and makes public appearances in a Rolls Royce, which is said to be the exact model used by the Queen of England at her coronation. The Oba spent a lot of time in London and held a number of diplomatic positions. 5. Oba Adoye Ogunwusi Eniton Net worth $70 million His Imperial Majesty Oba Adaye Ogunwusi Eniton is a well-known Nigerian royal father and one of the country's most powerful figures. Oba Adlaye Ogunwusi Eniton, with an estimated net worth of $70 million, is one of Africa's richest kings and one of the country's most powerful figures. He lives a lavish lifestyle and is known for making public appearances in some of the most iconic automobiles, including a white Rolls Royce Phantom. Oba Adlaye Ogunwusi Eniton is also known as a divisive figure. When his forefathers died, he was the 51st Uni of Ife, and he ascended to his forefather's throne in 2015. 4. King Mswati III of Swaziland Net worth $100 million Swaziland's King Mswati III is a wealthy monarch with a large fortune, and he is one of Africa's richest kings. Swaziland, also known as Eswatini, is a small landlocked country in southern Africa that is almost entirely surrounded by South Africa, with the remainder bordering Mozambique. King Santi III of Swaziland took the throne on April 25, 1986, at the age of 18, and he still reigns as an absolute monarch today. He owns all of the land in the country, as well as all of the wealth contained within and on it as the absolute monarch. Despite the fact that the average person in the country earns less than $1.25 per day, the king can afford to live a lavish and luxurious lifestyle. 3. Sultan Saadu Abubakar III of Sokoto Net worth $100 million Sultan Saadu Abubakar III of Sokoto is the most powerful and popular monarch in Nigeria. He is the 20th Sultan of Sokoto, but perhaps more importantly, he wields enormous political power in the region. He is without a doubt one of Africa's wealthiest kings. Sultan Saadu Abubakar III of Sokoto has the support of every politician worth his salt in northern Nigeria, as well as anyone who aspires to the highest offices in the land, including the presidency. The Sultan is a decorated military officer who led the armor court that protected General Babangida during his reign. He was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant by the Nigerian army. 2. Oba Frederick Obatiru Akin Runton of Ubo Land, Nigeria, net worth $300 million. Oba Frederick Obatiru Akin Runton of Ubo Land, Nigeria, is the second richest king in Africa with a net worth of $300 million. This monarch is not the type to make headlines on television or have his picture plastered all over the newspapers. He is one of Africa's wealthiest monarchs, as well as one of Nigeria's wealthiest individuals. Oba Frederick Obatiru is the founder and chairman of Obat Oil, a Nigerian oil marketing company owned and operated by its employees. 
In addition, he has a sizable portfolio of residential and prime commercial real estate in Nigeria and London that he uses to supplement his income. 1. King Mohamed VI of Morocco Net worth $2.1 billion Morocco's King Mohamed VI is the richest king in Africa and one of the continent's only two absolute monarchs. He also has the most power. Morocco's King Mohamed VI is a member of the Moroccan royal family, also known as the Alawite dynasty, which has a long and illustrious history dating back hundreds of years. The Societe Nationale d'Investissement is a holding company that owns or controls various businesses such as agriculture, banking, real estate, and power generation. In addition to Managem, a mining company, Onapar, S-O-M-E-D, tourism, real estate companies, Wafa Assurance, an insurance company, Margem, a hypermarket chain, Wana Inwe, a telecommunications company, and other businesses, he is wealthy and successful. King Mohamed VI of Morocco is a successful businessman and diplomat, in addition to being a monarch. Africa had many empires and great monarchs in the past. However, colonization caused them to vanish, and only a few remain today. These are the wealthiest kings of Africa's few remaining empires. Thank you for sticking with me until the end. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to Africa Reloaded for more amazing videos.